Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. And uh, last week you saw me putting primer on some of the parts. Today, let's try and get this shell on the primer. Okay, so the, uh, the challenge today is to get this shell under primer and the, um, the first thing I need to do is really clean it all up. Get rid of all the junk out of the inside, vacuum everything up, get it looking nice and tidy, and then, yeah, there's gonna be more sanding. Because I've got to prepare all this engine bay, get everything ready so I can put some primer on it. So, um, lots of work to do, so let's get into it. All right, so my primering today is going to also include primering this engine bay. Um, that means I have to tidy up all of this wiring, get it all uh, cleaned up, mask up what I need to, uh, and just get it so that I can give it a nice, good coat of paint. Um, I just want a, um, I'm not gonna heavily high fill this, just enough um, primer to key it in so that it actually, uh, the paint will stick and I can get a nice coat over the whole thing. So um, that means, getting in and cleaning up this mess. All right, so I've stripped out all the wiring out of the uh, engine bay here and uh, just tidied some things up. You can see I've masked up the um, compliance plate here. So it's now just a matter of going through and sanding the whole thing back. I'm just giving it a light scuff with uh, 320 over everything. Get it all scuffed up, ready for some paint. And then um, I need to do some light masking. Most of bodywork really is just lots and lots and lots and lots of sanding. Okay, so the, uh, the engine bay is now finally done. Both um, door surrounds are both done. Now I'm going into the rear hatch and uh, there's just these edges here. Because I had the hatch on when I was doing the, um, the bog work, I've got these rough edges here that I've got to go around and just tidy up these edges. So get them tidy, rub this back, rub the, uh, the tail light section back, and then hopefully I can start masking. All right, so I've just discovered I've got a few little spots along this edge here, um, just where the, uh, the bog had come in the edge and it hasn't filled completely. Uh, so I'm gonna just lay a little sliver along here. And I did actually notice, I still have a little low spot in the middle here. I don't know how I missed that, but uh, one more skim, one more little skim in the middle along the edge, sand it back, hopefully we're done. <laughs> it's gotta be right, it's not worth racing ahead and then having to fix it later anyway. Okay, so the back end is all sanded up, except for those couple of spots I added that extra layer of bog. Yes, there was more layers of bog to go. It's just the way it works. But um, now it's time to get into this engine bay and start masking up everything I don't want to paint at the moment, which is like the, the steering column, the steering rack. Um, I still need to remove this uh, mask cylinder and some bits and pieces, so let's start masking.
you can see here, I could have gone further. I could have taken out the steering column. It wouldn't have been that difficult, but uh, I'm happy enough with the level I've gone here. Um, it's gonna be uh, nice and neat enough, particularly by the time the engine and everything's in. I think it's gonna look good, so time to see if that uh, bog is set up and do the last sanding on that, and then I can start masking up the rest of it. Ryan Little. Alright, this is um, just a quick uh, look at how I like to mask up um, big openings like this. I've gone all the way around on the inside with the uh, two inch tape so that the sticky side is facing up. Then I just get on the, uh, the masking machine, tear off a strip that's wider than what I need, stick it on and as you get to the tight corners, I fold it in, fold it over. So there we go, fold it under, put a nice crease in it, make it nice and tight, pull it tight. Okay, there we've got one reasonably tight uh, piece there. Now we do the same on the bottom. And that edge is nice and tight. So the corners I'm just folding in, just basically folding the paper so that it's nice and tight the whole way around and fold it underneath itself so you don't have the, all the, the messy bits underneath. It's all nice and neat on the top. Makes for a nice, neat masking job, hopefully. And now I can just go over the top with the one inch and join the two together. Obviously this helps because I haven't done the sides yet so I can reach through and make sure it's a nice tight fit all the way along. So there's the panel, a nice, neat, uh, job on the inside edge all the way around so that you get full coverage all the way to the edges. I'm sure there's lots of other ways to do it but this is the way I do it and it, uh, it works for me so um, now do the rest. Ryan Little. Okay, so I finally got it all masked up. It has actually taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. That's actually taken me a whole day, sanding down the entire engine bay, masking everything up, disconnecting bits, removing the wiring, just all the bits and pieces that I had to do today. Those uh, last little um, touch-ups that I missed, but it's basically ready to paint next week. So um, I suppose that means it's time for fun facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, in 1987 for the Trans Am series, the Newman Sharp race team built a new car based on the Nissan 300ZX 2 Plus 2. The longer wheelbase was supposed to increase high speed stability, but it proved to be problematic and they only managed one podium finish that year. In fact, that year, another movie star joined the team. Paul Newman became friends with Tom Cruise while he was filming The Color of Money, and Tom Cruise proved to have a big interest in racing. Tom got his racing license and drove a few rounds in the SCCA in 87. He was fast, but he lacked discipline and he crashed five cars in one season. People began to joke that SCCA stood for Sea Cruise Crash Again. A hard shunt at Pocono Raceway eventually ended Tom Cruise's short-lived racing career. All right, another day down. I didn't get any paint on today like I thought I would, but um, as always, things take longer than I think. And uh, either way, it's all prepped, it's masked up, it's ready to go there. Definitely will be paint put on it next week. Um, and uh, hopefully the rest of the bits. I'm getting there, it's uh, just, it takes time. So um, as always, uh, do the regular stuff, help the channel out, buy some shirts, hoodies and all that sort of stuff and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
All right, guys. See you okay. next week. Three hours. What? Ah, oh, I was. Just, why would you not write that? And they only finished one. Another movie star joined the team. Paul Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so longer wheels. Bloody hell.